thank you so much for your time and you look amazing thank you <laughs> can you tell the world who you are and what you do i'm Roxana begum i'm currently the british champion for muay thai kickboxing and i'm soon to be fighting for world title first of march oh well congratulations thank you um can you explain uh, is it muay thai boxing or known as kickboxing what is it what does it entail it's actually Thai boxing, Muay Thai, right, right. Um, but kickboxing is the Western version of Thai boxing. Oh. Um, it became really popular, and um, it is it consists kickboxing consists of kicking and punching, right. whereas Thai boxing consists of kicking, punching, as well as knees and elbows and clinch. So it's known as the art of eight limbs. Wow. I mean, looking at you, you're everything that I didn't expect because you sort of it's <laughs> really combat mm -hmm. and did the sport find you or how did you get into it? Um, I've always been quite um, sporty and yeah, growing yeah. up I've always loved sports and yeah. I was attracted to martial arts mm -hmm. and I went along to a Thai boxing class and fell in love with it. It was fast oh, and explosive yeah. and just suited me down to the ground. <laughs> Oh, how long have you been doing it for? I started when I was um, 18. Wow. And I kept it a secret initially because I was quite concerned with how my family would, would react. Um, but eventually, once I finished university, I realised that I was only doing a sport. Yeah. And uh, um, there's nothing bad with doing a sport and participating and keeping yourself healthy. Yeah. So then I decided to tell my parents and thankfully I got their support and their blessing. Oh, yeah, that's really important. I mean, I did martial arts when I was a teenager mm -hmm. as well. And oh. I love it. I love it. And I think... Cool. Um, from a woman's perspective, is it, is it male dominated, women dominated? It's, it's something that I haven't looked into. Mm -hmm. It's definitely male dominated. Right. I think yep. things are progressing now in terms of um, women's boxing being in the Olympics, especially yep. with Nicola Adams winning the gold medal. Yep. It's definitely had an impact with more female participation into sports such as Thai boxing and kickboxing, where it's more male dominated. Right. Um, but things are moving on and it's starting to look a little bit more woman friendly. <laughs> Why do you think women, you've just said, are more attracted to it? Like, let's talk about the confidence behind it. Why do you think women yeah. are, you know, um, taking more of an interest in it? I think it's just a really fun way to keep fit as well as self-defence. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a challenging sport. And where more females are taking part, it's becoming more attractive to, for females to um, take a sport that is... Um, so challenging and um, where they don't feel isolated and feel mm. intimidated by so many men in the gym. So oh, um, I think that's making a difference. Um, so you've been doing it for almost over 10 years. Yeah. Um, how much pressure is on you now for March? <laughs> you know, how do you handle all that? Talk us through your daily training, oh. the mental, the physical. You know, it's, um, it's very intense and um, I mean this is something that I've always dreamt of. I never thought I'd come this far oh. and it's such a, it's, it's like I'm living my dream. I, yeah. I never thought I'd come this far. Just being an instructor, oh. that was wow to me, doing something that I'm passionate and um, being able to do, follow my passion yeah. um, and earn a living from it was amazing for myself but to now represent my country represent yeah. females in general in a combat sport yeah. empowering women gaining confidence and the tour has the sport has taught me so much um and it's given me my identity now it's shaped yeah. me it's shaped my views and uh, thoughts on life okay um, and it's given me so much to give to other people now and um being part of um a being an ethnic minority female, or being able yeah. to um, give something back to my community in particular. Um, but my training ration, going back to that, is very extreme at the moment. I am training practically twice a day, uh, six times a week, wow. and uh, my diet is very controlled. I am on a high protein diet right. uh, with little carbs. <laughs> so, 
Um, but a training session will consi consist of me warming up, mobilising, five to six rounds of skipping, shuttle runs, um, then pad work or technical uh, pad work or sparring, and then a conditioning at the end where I'm doing bodyweight conditioning to build my strength and uh, stamina. So is there a certain weight that you have to maintain? You know, what what's mm -hmm. what has made you, like, the, you know, where you're at? You know, is it you're physically strong, mentally? Yeah, talk us through, through um, that. There's, there's definitely, definitely a weight category that I need to be... Um, classified as right. normally when I fight abroad I'm at 40, 48 kilos um, but in oh London God. I'm 50 kilos where I'm fighting because my opponents are a little bit heavier than I am oh. um, but I, it's, it's a struggle at the moment to get down because I enjoy my food right. um, but hard training definitely helps me push through and get, get down to my weight category oh. um, yeah <laughs> Um, we all have our David versus Goliath moment, I call it, you know, <laughs> getting to where you are. Do you want to share? Um, I've interviewed many world champions and the sure. sacrifice, the personal sacrifices that they make mm -hmm. is mind-blowing, you know. Um, what are the sacrifices have you made and things where you thought, God, I, I just don't know quite if I can go on or will I get there? <laughs> I think um, it's always been a hard sport for me to pursue, uh, given my background, um, being a female, being a Muslim female, being an Asian female, coming from a very traditional family, it was it was like climbing a mountain to begin with, to tell my parents to go yes. into a sports that that is such, it, it is so demanding on your time, mentally and physically. Mm. Um, it's definitely not for the weak hearted. It's, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. But again, um, it's given me so much and I love it. And I mean, the sacrifices, when you enjoy something, it doesn't feel like you're making a sacrifice. Mm. Um, I mean, I've had to spend less time with my family, going to cancel um, my family weddings, eating really healthy, oh. so, um, and also keeping my, being everything to everyone basically, like my family at work and training, having to give 100% everywhere, and it's very, very tough because I can't be everywhere and I have to be selfish with my training where I'm putting that first. Yes. So my family are trying to, you know, they understand now that yeah. my priority is my training. So I can't always be eating cake at someone's birthday party yeah, yeah. or someone's wedding. So I'm very, very strict with my diet oh. as well as how much time I give to um, my family and friends. I'm always training and once I've trained, um, I'm at home resting so I have enough recovery for the next stage mm. training so it's incredibly difficult and sometimes people don't understand that no. um, recovery is part of the training to peak and to be fighting at that level sleep yeah. and rest is just as important as training and nutrition. Actually, no it's a valid point because I interviewed um, she won the Sashi 2014 Olympic in snowboard across mm -hmm. yeah. and she just won and I said are you gonna go and party and she said no I'm yeah. going home to rest and sleep. That's I'm like, all I do as well and it's I was so like wow. It's, it's a crucial part of training to be able to get enough rest so you can have peak performances and that's what I aim to do rather than just getting through a training session I want the best out of myself in each session. Yes. <laughs> I, oh wow that's admirable. Um, I looked at your latest trailer and I absolutely adored it because it was very feminine. Mm -hmm. um, you had makeup on like your image <laughs> to me came out. How important is your image within this sport to you? Um, I think image is important and I think what I'm trying to portray is myself rather than the stereotypical views that the uh, most people have of athletes, of females, and uh, I want to portray a healthy image for women who are sporty and are not really that skinny. We're, we're athletic build, we're healthy, we're confident, and we're empowering. And that's the image that I want to portray. And we're not, we don't look like men. We, we're yeah. feminine. We can, you know, I enjoy high heels and spas as well, just as much as you know any other female. But at the same time. I love sports. So. Yeah. So, um, 
in in as you grow and, and let's say you win and and um would sort of portraying you as a, a female sports model in the fashion would that be something that you would be open to I mean, I would definitely be open to that because at the end of the day, I am a sports person and yes. I want to um, embrace the athletic physique that our sports females have because, yes. you know, this is that's what should be encouraged in the media but mm. not females who are not eating hardly anything and walking on the catwalk and then they're fainting outside <laughs> outside in the, in the where they get ready. So yeah. Yeah. Um, this is what real women should look like and yes. You know, we're not all six foot tall. However, yeah. we're, we're the best that we can be in our physiques yeah. and uh, making the most of it and enjoying life. Absolutely. I mean, my past, my my marketing of myself for 2015 is mm -hmm. 40 core chore. Now, I'm yeah. the very few women that um, wow. are, are, are <laughs> reporting on men's fashion, mm -hmm. uh, sports stars, and also yeah. lifestyle. So I kind of have this whole matrix thing about me, mm -hmm. and um, and obviously my eyewear and things like that. So, what yeah. kind of brand would you represent? Who you are at the moment? That you, you know. Um, there's a couple of things that I'm working on at the moment. Yep. One of them, I'm an ambassador for RDX. I've actually got their gloves here. Just oh, to can we have a look? Yeah, yes, yes, of course we can. That's their RDX brand. Are they kind of made bespoke for your hands? Like, talk us through the gloves a little bit. Yeah. Um, these are breathable and right. they're really cushioned inside so you, um, you get maximum protection so in sparring you want as much as protection as possible because you don't want to injure your partners and safety reasons and you don't want your partners to injure you either yeah. you want to keep the fight for the fight and um, these are excellent and I absolutely love them and they've recently come on board and sponsored me mm. and Amir Khan um, and they, yes. I think they sponsored his fight as well. So, wow, um, congrats! Yeah, they. So, can they kind of make that a little bit more feminine? Um, I'm going to be talking to them and see if we can get some female, you know, friendly colours involved, so oh, pinks and whites and golds, and make it really attractive for females to take part in sport and feel really fashionable and enjoy sport and not take it so seriously because at the end of the day it should be uh, something that people enjoy doing and it doesn't have to be so serious. Um, cool. um, one of the other things that I'm working on is my own sports range that I would like to come come out with. It's, it's gonna something along the lines of Roxy, Roxy B, which is my fight name that everyone refers to me as. Um, and not only that, I'm also looking at uh, doing some sports presenting as well as um, creating a sports hijab for Muslim females Aww. to be able to participate in sports without discrimination, without having to feel that they're not, um, you know, equal in a sport and feel comfortable and confident to come in and be able to take part in a sport and not be judged for what they're wearing. So um, those are the few things that I'm working on at the Aww. moment. <laughs> well, you know, um, I'm really loving that because I think it's important. Um, I think I'm an Italian background and, and so it's important to represent who you are and where you come from. Definitely. And, um, so you've got you've got about three months to go. And where is where is it all kicking off? So the fight is in London, and it's going to be in Camden, first of March. Um, oh. And it's a world title fight for myself, so I'm really excited and really, really looking forward to the build up, the training, the discipline behind it. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's that focus that I miss when I'm not fighting, so I do enjoy it. It's challenging yourself and proving something to yourself. Some of the Some injuries, injuries, like, like um, I do, um, I have. I've had injuries in the past and recently I've been recovering from a fracture on my leg um, but now it's all healed um, and in the past I've had uh, rotator calf injuries as well as rib fractures but that's in the past. I'm going to focus on the now and... Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you're incredibly gentle and feminine, feminine. and is it an aggressive, an aggressive sport? sport? I mean, I, I watch, watch it, it and I think, I was a big fan of, of 
um, boxing when I grew up. Oh, cool. And I was just like, oh my god, this is so aggressive. So, you know, how do you, when you, you're just going to go on there, how do you mentally to you get into this like real combat zone? How does it work for you? I think it balances me out because I'm quite gentle and, um, you know, I don't like confrontation. But at the same time, you need to have an outlet. And I guess the ring is my outlet rather than taking out on other people or at work. I think that's given me the perfect avenue to have my release and have blow some steam um, when I'm frustrated or when I'm tired or just you know just find trying to find that's my happy place in the ring when i'm training Aww. so um and it's important to have that in life oh absolutely <laughs> well, i'm really excited to uh, you know um keep track of you and thank you so much for um thank you, you know, thank you for interviewing me no definitely I just, just to look out for me and you can follow me on facebook or twitter and um, do feel free to message me if um, if anyone wants to get in touch for training or for media purposes. I'm happy to cooperate. Oh, Thank wow. you. Um, <laughs> Roxy, Roxy, just on a social, social media, media aspect, aspect, because that's how you got me through Twitter, Twitter. Um, mm-hmm. more so a lot of athletes are using it. Why have you chosen social media to help build your brand? It's definitely a very powerful tool and um, if your marketing is right and it's, it's a good way to reach, reach out to your fans and people who admire you, who can, who can get more out of uh, learning about you and then applying it in their life. So it's something that I would love to be part of to help other people um, and it's a good way of reaching out to them rather than um, just static magazine interviews this is a more one-to-one kind of personal message that i can give and they can understand what i do and my personality as well and are you and controlling, are you controlling yourself, yourself at the moment at the moment i am but oh. i i am looking for help to support me with my marketing okay, and yeah. um, pr side of things okay, okay. And what about video? <laughs> video who is behind it's all of that yeah. i mean i love it, love it. the <laughs> message is really it's clear really. Hmm? Were you, were you part of that? Were you Definitely. It, what I wanted, I wanted something that is going to portray me and sports and elegance and femininity. And um, that's what I went for, something that is really natural. And things that I would do naturally in training, we just thought, let's capture that so people yep. can see what it's like. And um, even though it's a very, you know, hardcore training, yeah. It's still, it, you know, you could be a feminine female and still take part and do it because, you know, it's just enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> Thank so you much for your time. time. Keep tweeting and <laughs> this will go up real soon. Thank you. And you're really, you're really beautiful. beautiful. You just, oh, just thank you. Oh, naturally beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, I'm always oh, putting out gowns and makeup. makeup. You don't even need makeup. It's amazing. <laughs> So, so thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you for you being an inspirational inspiration. woman, Roxy. Thank and look you after so yourself. much for your time. And, pleasure. Um, it's a pleasure. Bye. 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 Bye.